And welcome. Good day. I'm Chris Willis. The trial for the second suspect in the 2009 Mardi Gras murder began this morning with a guilty plea to one of the charges. Kenneth Hernandez pleaded guilty to helping burn the body of 21-year-old Christy Espinoza, but pleaded not guilty to her murder. His wife, Martha, was convicted on both charges last month, sentenced to a combined 80 years in prison. Our Chris Sadegui is live at the courthouse with more on the guilty plea and what this could mean for the trial. Chris? Well, it remains to be seen. No deal was struck, so the jury will still sentence him on that guilty charge. And now the trial is proceeding on the murder charge. Videotape evidence during his wife's trial showed Kenneth Hernandez filling up a gas can at a convenience store the night of the murder. So it could be an effort to get a lesser sentence for that charge. But he is still maintaining his wife, Martha, was Christy Espinosa's killer. The couple has blamed each other. Evidence concerning Kenneth's statements were withheld from Martha's trial, and the reverse will be true for this one. In Martha's trial, there was testimony from Kenneth's sister that Martha confessed to committing the murder in an attempt to fake her own death and avoid police because she did have some outstanding warrants. Crime scene investigators testified for most of the morning, but Espinosa's mother, Diane, like she did in uh, Martha's trial, tearfully testified before the jury. And I'll try calling her cell phone again. And I did, and there was no answer. And I called again, and no answer. And I just got a feeling that something was wrong because she wasn't answering her cell phone. And court just broke for lunch. They will resume at 2 o'clock with the medical examiner up on the stand. For now, we're live at the Travis County Justice Complex. Chris Sadegi, KXAN Austin News.